Hi, I'm Frankie Ray, and this is our new book, right there. We Walked Among the Best. When we came here to Marco Island for two weeks to the Marco Beach Hotel, we never realized that we were going to be there for 28 years. And yes, our dream came true. We wrote the official song of Marco Island, Marco Memories which they play on the radio station on Marco Island all the time. And also, the book, by the way, it's about a little clown and his father's circus in the Midwest. The little clown learns how to play guitar and sing, and he's on his family television show in Albuquerque for something like uh, five years. And after that, he's gonna try New York. So he goes off to New York, can't get a job because he's too young. So he goes to Canada. And in Canada, he works very hard from the bottom up in Montreal. He worked every hole in Montreal till he hit the top place, the living room. Very elegant, beautiful. Yes, he was there for three years. And that's when he learned that when he would work real hard and learn as many songs as he could, he could please everyone and also in different languages. So he was ready to go now to Toronto. And there he went to another beautiful place, the Gaslight. It was like a bunny place, a Playboy Bunny. It's from Chicago, but they were first in Toronto. He worked there also for three years worked very hard, learned calypsos, learned old songs, learned to sing in seven different languages. Then he decided, well, maybe I'm ready for New York. So he went to New York, and New York City, again, he had to start from the bottom up, yes. And he did. One day they offered him a job at a bar mitzvah at a very elegant restaurant on 47th and Broadway, right next to the Barrymore Theater. He went there and he was such a success that the owner offered him a job. He sang there for six years, making friends with so many movie stars, celebrities. Eva Gardner would not come into the place unless Frankie was there to sing for her. Debbie Reynolds became a really good friend. One of the stories in the book is about Debbie Reynolds. I took my wife and my father-in-law and mother-in-law to see her on Broadway in the show Irene. Well, after the show, I said to my wife, I made arrangements to go backstage and say hello to Debbie. And I sure hope she remembers me because it had been seven years since I had seen her. So we went backstage. I knocked on her dressing room door. She opens the door and she goes, Frankie! And she comes down the stairs and she hugs me and gives me a kiss and holds me for a while. She says, it's been seven years, I've missed you. And she was so beautiful. And then she said, who are these lovely people? I said, my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, and my wife. And she said, oh, she is so pretty. It was such a beautiful reunion with Debbie Reynolds. Well, that's a story in the book. There's so many stories in the book from so many different phases in life. And I do hope you will enjoy it. Now, we do give 40% of that book to our wonderful men that sacrificed their lives to make us free today in our country, America. My brother wrote the following song, and it's titled, Without a Dream. Yes, without a dream, I wouldn't be here right now talking to you. Here is the beautiful song, Without a Dream. Not without a dream. 
There wouldn't be a Disney World where fairy tales begin and end. But we can all be young again. If only for a while we can't pretend. We all have a dream that we can live for. A simple little something that comes true. The biggest dream in all the world is happening to you. Without a dream Without a dream Without